Neuralink is finally conducting human trials following a massive Series D funding. Elon Musk plans to expand the study, but also warns about a potential mind virus. He hints at collaborations with Tesla's Optimus robot and envisions exciting opportunities, including VR integration and mind-controlled prosthetics. But before we reveal all about it, don't forget to show your support by hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so Neuralink is about to implant its brain-computer interface in humans for the first time ever. This means quadriplegics, or people with limited movement, could soon control computers directly with their thoughts, and it's all possible because of the tiny, flexible device that's thinner than human hair. It was designed to integrate with the motor cortex of the brain, which is the region that controls movement. By using microscopic electrodes, these implants will read signals from the brain and translate them into digital commands for the chosen output device. The surgical procedure, conducted under local anesthesia, will use a custom-built robot for precise placement. This will keep the surgical risk low and also allow for real-time monitoring. While the initial goal is to control a computer cursor, there is so much that these brain chips are capable of doing. From restoring limb movement to enabling communication through brain signals, Neuralink is no doubt a very promising invention. But to fully test its potential, trials are a huge step forward to make this happen, and that's exactly why FDA approval was so crucial too. Thankfully, in May 2023, Neuralink finally received a green light from the US Food and Drug Administration for the first ever implant implantation of the brain chips. While the exact cost of a Neuralink procedure is not known yet, many analysts have estimated that it could range between $40,000 and $200,000 per implant. Due to the complex technology it uses, Neuralink's mission to revolutionize human technology interaction isn't a one-man journey. In March 2023, the company reached out to Barrow Neurological Institute, one of the biggest neurological institutes in the US, to hopefully gather a ton of leading experts in brain research and surgical techniques to make these trials a success. While Francisco Ponce, the director of Barrow's Center for Neuromodulation and Neurosurgery Residency Program, didn't comment on a possible collaboration, he seemed confident in Barrow's long track record in implant research. As we know, Neuralink's prime study is no ordinary research project. There are a lot of factors involved in making it happen. For example, there's a foolproof eligibility criteria in place. Participants in the study need to be 22 or older, have had quadriplegia from a spinal cord injury, or a for at least a year with no improvement and have a round-the-clock caretaker with them. The study is set to last about six years, during which the research team will make sure the Neuralink BCI is working right. The main part of the study will take about 18 months, involving nine visits. Some are at home and some are at their clinic. During the study, participants will do BCI research sessions, spending at least two hours a week thinking and testing, after which there will be a five-year checkup with 20 visits to keep an eye on things. The magic lies in a tiny device called the N1 Link. This device connects with the brain and helps control stuff just by thinking about it. The goal here is to see if it's safe and helpful and what can be achieved by it. This study isn't just about research. It's about hope for millions dealing with paralysis. It's about a world where paralyzed people could type, email, use smart devices, and even move robotic limbs just by thinking. And what's interesting is that Neuralink isn't stopping at the prime study. They're dreaming big. After helping quadriplegics regain control of their movement, they're also thinking about helping patients with vision problems by using implants to help them see using their thoughts. And not only that, but Elon has also talked about collaborating between his Optimus robot and Neuralink chips to help create a cyber body to replace traditional prosthetics. This way, amputated arms and legs will get a cyber body of their own, enabling dexterity on a whole other level. While these studies are still in their initial phases, they could change the lives of the millions involved. But these brain chips won't just be bridging the gap for differently abled people. In fact, Musk and his team are aiming to make them available to everyone. So imagine controlling your house with thoughts or learning languages straight from your brain. It's like the Matrix, but the only difference is that you don't need to plug yourself into a computer. The computer will be inside of you. Despite the hype, there are challenges to making sure these tools are used right and safely, and Neuralink is serious about handling them wisely. They're working toward a future where our thoughts 
robots do incredible things, blurring the line between humans and machines and bringing a whole new level of teamwork between humans and AI. Aside from helping out people, Elon Musk has another brilliant idea in mind to maximize the workability of these chips. He wants to connect Neuralink's brain device with Tesla's technology so that paraplegics can drive Teslas and control them using their minds. But Neuralink's job isn't only about making bodies work better. They want to use brain data to understand how we think. This could help make AI safer and smarter and lead us to a future where our thoughts connect us to AI, making life way better than we can imagine. However, as AI gets integrated into our lives every day, there are a lot of ethical concerns involved too. Elon's known for pushing tech boundaries, but he isn't just focused on space and electric cars. He's also raising a red flag about artificial intelligence. Musk is worried about something he calls a mind virus, which is an AI that could spread through thoughts, influencing how we think and even control us. Mind virus, how it was able to propagate through the, the social media and being in control of social media platforms. Yeah. Think about what that means if that same mind virus gets in control of a super intelligence and that is possible yeah, no that's what that's actually what i think the biggest danger is for ai is that if ai is implicitly programmed with values that have led to the destruction of downtown san francisco then uh you could implicitly program an ai to believe that extinction of humanity is the What's more is that he's not just imagining this. He thinks it's a real danger that could cause big problems, like messing with our decisions and emotions or taking away our freedom. He's not just making guesses either. Elon thinks AI is getting so smart so quickly that it might become way smarter than humans, which could lead to an ethical train wreck. So what can be done? Well, according to the CEO of Tesla Motor, governments should step in to control how AI is made and make sure people know the risks. He wants everyone to talk openly about this and work together internationally to make rules for how AI is used. By being careful and taking action now, we can make sure AI helps us instead of controlling us in the future. It's a great power and with great power comes great responsibility. Um, I think it, it would be wise for us to have at least um, an objective third party who can be like a referee that can go in and understand what the various leading players are doing with AI. And even if there's no enforcement ability, they should, they can at least voice concerns. While Musk's warnings might sound scary, they're a reminder of how we need to be able to know the difference between genuine comprehension and simulated learning. Even though it's taken years for neural networks to develop, we need to remember that this technology was made by humans and not by an external force. This is exactly why Elon talks about AI everywhere he goes. In an interview with Benjamin Netanyahu, Elon talked about how there's now a thin line between who's in charge. Talking about having something that is an intelligence far in excess of the smartest human on earth, um, you have to say at that point, who's in charge? Um, is it the computers or the humans? Um, and you know, there, there's some interesting ratios that I think are, are quite profound, like one of them being the ratio of digital to bi biological compute. So if you, if you take also the, all the human brains and then all the, the computer you know, circuits and you say, what's that ratio? The ratio of digital to biological compute is increasing dramatically every year because the population of Earth is fairly static, but the output of silicon is dramatically increased. During his conversation with UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, Elon Musk raised the idea of a potential magic genie problem. He discussed the possibility of a future where goods and services are abundant, which might seem positive, but he also warned everyone that this scenario could actually lead to adverse outcomes. Perhaps this is why some people have criticized Elon for his work on these brain chips. But unlike VR or AR gadgets, Neuralink's brain-computer interface aims to link our minds straight to these digital realms. With these chips, there's a way for you to tap into the virtual world and explore the place not by pressing buttons, but by thinking about it. Neuralink's BCI turns your thoughts into actions, so you could fly over canyons, interact with virtual stuff, and even feel emotions from the digital world. This deep kind of immersion could change a lot, from fun and learning to therapy and healing. Think about a kid with autism feeling calm in a virtual forest, or someone who can't move their body using simulated reality to regain control. 
control. This is the kind of work Elon hopes to achieve. And not just that, but with Neuralink, it's possible to mix our natural selves with digital worlds, which could mean learning languages just by thinking or accessing tons of art and music straight from your brain. Sure, there are things to think about, like ethics and risks, but this technology could change how we see the world as we know it. And with hefty Series D funding, the possibilities are endless. The company just scored big with a massive $280 million in their Series D funding, showing they're financially strong and ready to push their brain-computer interface technology even further. This cash boost solidifies their position, ensuring they can continue their groundbreaking work without worrying about money. But it's not just about money, it's about unlocking the human mind's potential. With this funding, Neuralink can speed up their efforts to help people with paralysis, change healthcare, and even change how we connect with tech. And hey, if you're passionate about changing how humans and machines work together, Neuralink wants you. They're on the lookout for talented people in fields like engineering, neuroscience, software, and design. So check out their careers page if you want to be part of something big where your skills can really make a difference. This Series D funding isn't just a cash win, it's a sign that BCI Tech is getting serious. It's a call for creative minds to jump in and help build a future where brains and machines blend together, making the world more accessible for everyone. Now, would you want to be controlled by Elon Musk? Let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications for more updates like this. We'll see you in the next one.